How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another new episode of Let's Play Shining Force. Last episode, we took our payback on Kane, who had slain Josh earlier. Pardon me. And now... We return with Blue... Wait, don't leave yet. Karen wants to talk to you. Thanks for helping Blue. He needed a hero. Blue's going with you, right? Please tell him good luck. Kane turned out to rather not be that evil. He was being controlled by a mask put on him by Dark Soul. And he sacrificed himself to stop Dark Soul. Welcome back, Josh. I told everyone about Blue. Thank you so much. Kryn said she found something in the old records. It sounded important. I checked the old records and read something interesting. Do you want to hear about it? Listen, the Manual of the Seal holds the key to awakening Dark Dragon. He must never awaken. The Sacred Dragon must keep the Manual from evil hands. Also, there's something here about a sword called the Chaos Breaker. It says that when the sword is used at the westernmost point of the land, the Castle of the Ancients will rise from the depths of the sea. Whatever all that means. Did you get the Manual? No. Dark Soul has it. Oh my, this is bad. Very bad. He can use it to awaken Dark Dragon. Yeah, that's not a good thing. There goes your Karen again. I think you should go to Prompt first. It's south of here. But be careful, there are lots of monsters out there. Why do I get the weirdest feeling I'm missing something here? out there, there are lots of weird creatures wandering around. Well, Josh, we meet once more. For the last time, I fear, as you will die here. My minions shall take care of you, but if they fail, I await you in Demon Castle. That's gargoyles, bow riders, golems, high priests... Master Mage, Belials. Oh, uh, this is not going to be a fun battle. This is not going to be a very fun battle at all. Limited movement ranges are going to make this one suck. Gargoyle attacks our tank, Jungar. Cast Muddle on it. Tank 
tanks confused. Deal 12 damage to the gargoyle, defeating it. Pretty close, shouldn't he? Here come the Belials. Yep, 16 more for Dual Finish off that bow rider. Jameis makes level seven. Speed plus six. Gargoyle versus Jameis. Takes two damage and falls asleep. Oh crap, I should have had to deal. 
Doom K. Unfortunately, certain characters are just going to have better chances to shine this battle. Level 8 for Doom K, 2 points of speed, 6 points of... 6 points of speed, 2 points of attack. Characters like Doom K and Jameis and, uh... Jungar, whose movement is not going to be impaired by the terrain, are going to have some major advantages in this one. Golem sh takes a punch at Vex. Six damage. Casting Muddle on Skull. Skull is blanketed by a thick fog. Here comes another one. Golem punching a Doom K. Smacks him for five. Attacking Josh. One damage. Smack him, gentle. Misses. No. There we go. Ten damage. Finish off this golem. Yes! Six points of damage. Gosh! Get you some. Six damage. We gotta get Josh caught up some. He's fall 
falling too far behind in the damn character id level. Jameis wakes up. Lazy hand. Vex doesn't need the kill. There's other characters that need it more. Here we go. Another bolt spell going out. the other one. Zygmar Strike. Nice finish. Zygmar makes level 8. Speed plus 4. Gargoyle attacks Josh. Josh takes three. Throw a heal two on Bodok. High Priest attacks Doom K. We're gonna pull him back. Nope! Doom K's down. That ain't good. Josh finishes off the Gargoyle. Should make him level 6. Yep. Speed plus 1, max HP plus 2. Here comes the other Belial attacking Josh. Three damage. This one's attacking Jungar. One damage to our tank. Our tank counterattacks. Misses. Gentle can't get into attack range on the Belial. Golem attacking Jungar. Takes one damage. Takes another one damage for a second attack. And the Belial's getting killed. Attacks the Belial. Seven damage. Jungar.
Jungar Smash Priest misses. Jungar, this is not your battle. Jameis attacks the Belial. I just realized what I did. That's a bad position. Target. Your fist shine. Misses. No. Sigmar. Crap. That's what I was worried about. Magic points are stolen. Wonderful. Because that's exactly what I needed to happen there. Gentle misses. Hits that time. Finish it off, Josh. Come on. Got it. Come to freeze two from Skull. Get rid of these two. Jameis, finish off the healer. Jungar deals 19 to the Master Mage. And 
Vex shall finish it. I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Just because it's probably going to take me the better part of 7-8 minutes just to heal up and cross this map to that bottom right corner. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Gentle makes level 7. Attack plus 1, defense plus 1, speed plus 2, max HP plus 4, max HP plus and next, when we come back, I will be healed up and in position to engage the rest of this battle. I might even, if time permits, I might even fall back, re re retreat, and do some leveling up on this battle. Because uh, we're starting to take some pretty bad damage here. Everybody should be able to get a level or two stronger before uh, off before we start losing the amount of experience we're getting out of this stuff. So it's kind of a good opportunity to do that, but I don't know if I will because this map is just such a pain and I want to get it over with. There's better places I can do that. But for now, this one is wrapped. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback you may have into the comments below as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time on another new episode of Let's Play Shining Force. Farewell.